So in this tutorial, you will hear me referring to color notes. And basically those are large areas of color that relate to other areas of color. And so I think of a note as also like a musical note. And you want to have all of your notes in harmony with each other. Now, one thing that we want to keep in mind though while we are painting the yellow block is that even though our brain knows that it's a yellow block, the different sides of the block are different colors. So this side is more yellow than this side here, which is almost a bluish green in relationship to this side here. So we want to keep in mind again that even though the block is yellow, our brain knows that the block is yellow, but we are painting an experience of, of light. And I'm gonna talk just a little bit about color mixing. And to do that, I want to show you a, a color wheel here. And it has the six main color families on it. And so we have yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, and green. And within each color family, there is a warm and a cool pigment. Actually, there are many, many different pigments that could fall within this range, but if you have a warm and a cool version of these colors, then you can mix many, many things. If you want to mix a very saturated green, then you would choose the yellow that's closest to green on the color wheel. So it'd be your lemon yellow. And you would choose the blue that is closest to green on the color wheel, which is your thalo blue. So you might be asking why are you mixing a green if you have two greens in your set? Well, the, the greens that you have in your set are viridian and sap green, and neither one of those is a really bright yellow green. So if, if you're wanting a green that's a really bright yellow green, then again, you would want to mix your lemon yellow with just a little bit of thalo blue. And conversely, if you want a more muted green, then you could choose the opposite yellow and blue that's farthest away from green on your color wheel. Another useful tip can be if you're trying to mute a color to add a little bit of its complement. So if you want a yellow that's a little bit muted, you can add a little bit of purple to it. The next color note that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to mix some complements like we were just talking about. So this shadow right in here is purple in relationship to this yellow here. Now it's not a very bright purple, but in relationship to that color and the colors next to it, it definitely has a purple-ish bent to it. So. I'm going to mix a yellow with a little bit of purple to mute it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to be mixing dioxazine purple with my cadmium yellow. And dioxazine purple actually does not come in the Cotman watercolor set, but it might be a good supplemental color to add. Okay, now we're getting a little richer. And I'm gonna go ahead. And I usually start by going around the edges of the form, because I have to be more careful there. And then I fill in from there. 